whether it's fuel, electricity, groceries, or fertilizer for our farmers, the cost of everything we need to live and to raise our families is soared. As a government, we can't solve this inflation crisis on our own, but we can certainly keep our books balanced and we can ensure that Albertans and their families are better able to manage through this storm. So over the coming weeks and months, you'll see our government take decisive action in this regard to ensure that families are not obliged to choose between power for their homes in winter or the nutritional food for their families. We will lower the cost of electricity. <laughs> to ease the financial burden for seniors and vulnerable Albertans, our government will ensure that they have more in their wallets right away to meet the rising cost of life's necessities. To restore affordability to daily life during a time when budgets are being stretched beyond limits, our government will look to removing the provincial fuel tax and ensure that gas stations lower their prices appropriately when we do. Most of those managing AHS today are holdovers from the NDP years. They have had their chance to fix this bloated system, and they have largely failed on almost all accounts. Failure is no longer an option. So working with Minister Jason Copping and without disrupting frontline services, we will make the substantive changes that need to be made without delay. There can be no doubt that the current NDP Liberal Alliance is just the latest in a long line of Ottawa governments that have frustrated the legitimate aspirations of hardworking Albertans. That stops now. When Ottawa announces policies and laws, that attack our economy or violate the rights of our people, or when Ottawa seeks to take control of our sovereign areas of provincial jurisdiction, our UCP government will not enforce those laws and policies in this province, period. Let me be very clear. I will never, ever apologize for standing up for the people of Alberta and the province that I serve. So, we will pass the Sovereignty Act, work that has already begun on crafting it. We worked on it earlier this week at the caucus retreat. We still have further work to do, but I have asked for it to be ready by the time I take my seat in the legislature. We will then introduce it, and we will pass it, and we will use it to push Ottawa back into its own lane every single time that they step out of line and intrude on our constitutional rights. Alberta will no longer ask permission from Ottawa to be prosperous and free. We love this province and all it stands for. We won't sit by and allow socialist NDP policies to destroy what Albertans have worked so tirelessly to build. Our Alberta is one of the most prosperous places on earth, one of the great bastions of freedom and liberty anywhere, where people come from all over Canada and all over the world to build their dreams. This province is worth fighting for, no matter what the media or the woke Twitter mob throw at us. If we stay united, if we stay true to the strength and values of Manning and Lougheed and Klein, we will inevitably prevail. So join with me. Let's get to work. Let's show Albertans what we've got. Let's beat the NDP resoundingly in 2023, and let's make sure Alberta always remains strong and free.